all the money's leaving California, man. It's all out. It's all going out of California. Why? Because there's other places in America where you could flip houses with a hundred and twenty thousand dollar budget. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And if you clicked on this video, I'm guessing you're living in California. You want to get into the house flipping game, but you don't got half a million dollars. You don't have a million dollars. You're not sitting there with fucking $5 million in the bank, but you want to get in the house flipping game. Well, you're in the right spot because I'm helping a California investor just like you. His name is Brian, and he's got a budget of $120,000. Brian, I'm going to show you. Uh, how you can use that to flip a house in the Cleveland market completely passively using my team. We will handle uh, representing you on the buy end. We will handle the renovation. We will represent you as your listing agent on the sales end. We will even make sure you get insurance through out your brief time of ownership and before i get into the property folks if you're watching this and you're not brian and this all sounds pretty sweet to you send my team an email sales at holdenwise.com give us your number we'll talk to you about your wants needs goals and all that jazz now brian you came to me wanting to spend 120k and you wanted to make approximately uh twenty thousand dollars per deal i sent you a different flip which is close to that but it would require you to come ten thousand dollars over your budget this one is also going to be close, uh, but you know there's going to be some deviations here. I looked at this for somebody else, and I'm going to show you that footage, okay? And the number that I think you're going to need to come up and spend, okay, to actually get the deal done is going to make your profit uh, go under that 20K number, right? It's going to be an $11,700 profit, but we are closer to your budget. This one is going to be a total of 123000 Three hundred dollars. Now, of course, if you're trying uh, to to make sure you hit your 20k number or you don't do the deal, uh, I have a, a suggested purchase price in there of 105,000. You could, of course, just uh, offer eight thousand dollars less. But I have to, of course, let you know. I think uh, it would be an incredible long shot. Uh, for you to get the deal done going any lower than what I've suggested. And even what I've suggested uh, is not, of course, a guarantee that you'll get the deal done, bro, because this is flipping houses, man. It's a numbers game, right? It's not like there's all these houses with profit just sitting on trees and we get to just pick them like we're at fucking Walmart. No, it's a numbers game, bro. We got to put a lot of lines in the water there. So uh, without further ado, brother, I'm going to send you to that footage, and then after you take a look at that, let me know if you'd like to make an offer. 8110 Liberty. Parma, it's been on the market for 12 days. Price, $125,000. Now, it's all about knowing the specific little market you're in, right? If you take a look at this bungalow, if, as you see here, we got somebody living there. And the, and the house looks like it's in pretty good shape. There's really nothing that major you need to do. It's all about knowing the market, knowing what's going on. You see, here's what we have here, John. We don't have a highly distressed house, okay? As a matter of fact, when you're done with this flip, this house is probably going to look pretty damn similar to what it looks like right now, okay? What we have is the city of Parma. It's a suburb of Cleveland. This is probably one of the cheaper uh, sub-markets in the greater Cleveland area where owner occupants are those who drive almost all of the pricing, right? I know a lot of you guys are out of state. You look at the Cleveland market for all the rental stuff, okay? Yes, there's a bunch of neighborhoods in Cleveland where the primary buyer, the primary driver uh, of the home values are going to be investors like yourselves, right, for rental properties. Makes sense, okay? But Parma, not so much, right? There isn't like single family homes in Parma that a lot of people are buying uh, based on price to rent ratios. It doesn't make sense, right? This is an area where you have a lot of first time home buyers, right? Entry level home buyers, okay? So, what this property is, this is a rental property, probably an accidental landlord, not very many rental properties. This city has about 80,000 people in it, okay? 80,000 people is a lot of people. You know how many occupied single-family rental properties there are on the market today as I make you this video? 
three. And this is the cheapest one. So you do the math, right? That's a lot of freaking houses, not a lot of rentals, okay? Three occupied rentals, this is the cheapest one. 125 k The tenant is in there on a month-to-month -month lease paying 850 a month. They've been there over 10 years, okay? So what the seller has done is they've gotten themselves a property that's not appealing to anybody. It's not appealing to real estate investors like yourselves from a price to rent ratio standpoint, right? Who in the hell wants to spend 85, or I mean, who wants to spend $125,000 on an $850 a month rental, right? Don't make any sense, okay? Makes no sense. None of you guys would want that, right? For 125 k in the Cleveland market, we can get you probably sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars $1,700 in rent, right? If you're in uh, some of the rental neighborhoods. So that don't make no sense. If you're an owner-occupant, you don't want to buy this. There's somebody living there, right? Why? What, what the hell are you doing? So they're losing value on this home just based on the fact that there's a tenant in there, and that's where it's going to work for you, John, because normally you do a flip, bro. Uh, you got to buy a screwed-up house to fix it up, right? For the house to be screwed up enough to allow you to come in and fix it up, make some money on that spread there, uh, it, it typically needs to be so screwed up that you can't qualify for financing, but not the case here, right? This one, the shape of the house, we're not going to change that much. It's the fact that we're willing to deal with the fact that there is a tenant in there that's not attractive to investors, right? So what we need to do, have you pick it up at a discount because I believe this person's going to have a very hard time getting 125 k for their property with the tenant being in there. Now, if it was empty, I don't think they'd have an issue getting around that price point, right? So what I think we can do is we could leverage the fact that investors don't want this and owner-occupants are probably going to pass it over as well. Try to pick the thing up for hundred five grand with the tenant in there, okay? And then, you know, we'll collect rent from the tenant for a few months and then we'll get rid of the tenant. Then all I want you to do, bro, super tiny, teeny weeny, just clean her up, okay? Just toss in approximately 7500 bucks, right? We'll paint and patch the walls again, and then we'll refinish the hardwoods, right? There was carpet in there, so, like, let's buff hardwoods, replace the carpet. That's it, right? So 35 and then 4. So about 7500 at the low end, 85 at the high end. I've done a lot of houses like this. I'd be very shocked if we came very far off of the 75, right? So about 7500 At that point, bro, we just put her back on the market. She's fresh. She's clean. She's empty, We'll have no problem getting 135 k for it, right? And then uh, after that, right, <clears throat> you got your uh, sales commissions, your closing costs, right? So the whole thing will net you approximately $11,700, right? So this is something the house is in good enough shape. You could buy it with financing, right? All you need to do is put down your 25%, right? Your 25% uh, of the 105 is a little bit over 25 k Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> Spend, uh, you know, 7,500 on the reno, right? And then that's it. We sell the bad boy for 135, you make approximately 11,700. That is a way that you guys can go out there to these markets, do quick, easy, simple flips, cosmetic flips, right? Because we're targeting a house that, again, the problem is not the condition, it's the situation, and it's the fact that it's not really set up well for any individual buyer. And then, of course, my team will handle the whole thing, right? We'll collect the tenant's rent, why the tenant's in there. We will work to remove the tenant, right? We will give them a notice to vacate the property. If they don't do so voluntarily, we'll evict them. Uh, we will then go in and do that quick little refresh, right? As far as things like... The roof, the furnace, the hot water tank, bro, you notice I got all zeros there. You don't need to worry about that, right? Because what you got to understand is when we go to the 135 price point, we're not even, like, hitting, like, the top of what these could be. Like, if you really wanted to go crazy and, like, deck out the house, like, the ARV in this little area is only going to go up to about 150, right? So you really would be, like, over-improving it, right? So we would just have a fresh, clean, cosmetic property mid you know, mid to end of life, you know, normal mechanicals, nothing's falling apart, but you'll get a nice little, uh, you know, DIY or uh, first time home buyer. They'll come in, they'll scoop that thing up at 135. No problem, right? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.